I recently found out about this very cool free resource and I just had to share it with you guys. Filmmakers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie Polling Sweat and I am a homegrown filmmaker. I've been teaching myself filmmaking for several years and I've been sharing what I've been learning so that we can all be learning together. So I recently found out that if you already have an Amazon account or if your parents have an Amazon account, then you have access to Amazon Screenwriter, which is its own application um, designed for writing screenplays. This makes a lot of sense to me once I thought about it because Amazon is in the business of producing its own movies and its own TV shows. So there's actually a feature within this application where you can submit what you write to Amazon and I guess that's why they've decided to make something like this. From what I've been reading up until this point, it has been an offline application. I think you'd have to download it, I'm not sure. But they are changing that right now. They are making it so that it is all online. You just go log in with your Amazon account and you have access to the Amazon screenwriter. And here's the part where I have to explain that I had it in my head for some reason that this program application thing was called the Amazon Screenwriter. That is not the case. It is called the Amazon Story Writer. So a slight difference, but it is called Amazon Story Writer. So please excuse every single time that I say the wrong thing in this video. This video is not sponsored in any way by Amazon or Amazon Screenwriter, but I think it's a cool resource, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So I've used a couple different screenwriting applications over the years that I've been writing screenplays. And the first one that I started out with was Caltex, which I think is a great, great program. It's completely free to download to your computer. It's very easy to learn and it's also very intuitive to be switching back and forth um, between all of the different formatting options. So I really enjoy Caltex and it's usually what I recommend to people who are just starting out because it is completely free. A couple of years ago I decided to upgrade to Final Draft because a lot of people recommended it. It's also like industry standard so if you were ever to submit a screenplay to someone you would need it in a Final Draft format. Um, there's a couple other formats but that's like the one that's most widely used. Final Draft also has some more advanced features for doing script breakdowns and also collaborations, which is a big reason why I wanted to get it as well. So I went ahead and gave the Amazon Screenwriter a quick whirl to see how it compared to both Celtex and Final Draft, and here's what I found. When you go to the Amazon Screenwriter front page, it's very well laid out, it's very easy to find things, and therefore very easy to learn to use. Like Caltex and Final Draft, it completely does all of the formatting for you so you don't have to worry about making all of the margins correct and the capitalizations correct. It does all of that for you and you can just switch between the different formatting options. So the whole thing, like I said, is very well laid out. It's very, very simple. It doesn't have a ton of options that you don't know what to do with. There's no hidden menus. Everything's right there where you can see it. So very, very user friendly. It comes complete with the ability to fill out a title page, also spell check anything that you would normally see in a writing program, and it saves real time so that you don't have to worry about losing any of your work or worry even about remembering to push the save button. Because it's all online and through your Amazon account, it's accessible from pretty much anywhere. Um, this is very useful for someone like me where sometimes I'm writing at my house, sometimes I'm writing over where my siblings live. You know, I work in several different areas, so it's very useful for me to be able to log into my Amazon account and it's just right there on any device. You can also access it from your phone or your tablet, but you can't edit it from those devices. It doesn't seem to have a mobile editing application of any kind that I've been able to find. So you do have to do it on a desktop or a laptop. So far the thing that I like about it most is that it also has a very simple, easy way to keep track of multiple drafts of the same script. And if you have ever written multiple drafts of a longer script, you know how easy it is to just get buried in all of the different files and versions. You can't remember exactly where you were, you try to date things, and it just makes all of that very painless. It keeps it all kind of together in the same place. Good job, Amazon. Good job, because that, yeah, that's a problem for me. 
To sum all of that up, I really like the platform itself. It's clean to look at, it's easy, it's simple, all those great things that you want in a program. What I didn't like about it and probably why it's not going to be my main screenwriting software, I didn't actually like how writing in it went. It wasn't as intuitive to, uh, to switch through the different formatting options as I'm used to, like in Celtex or Final Draft. In Caltex, when you're switching between the formatting options, you use a couple of very simple hotkeys like return and tab, and those allow you to maneuver through the options very quickly and it doesn't interrupt your writing flow. In Final Draft, they have even more specific hotkeys, so it's very easy to just select exactly the formatting option that you want right away. It's very non-interruptive, so easy to write. In the Amazon Screenwriter, you have to scroll through the options pushing tab until you get to the right one or you have to manually click it with your mouse, which to me, I'm used to the more intuitive program, so that's very interruptive to the writing flow. I don't want to have to think about how many times I have to push tab to get to the right formatting option that I want at that moment. I just want to be able to flow. So maybe if I spent more time in it and I got a little bit more used to it, it would be more intuitive and it wouldn't be so interruptive, but I didn't really find that very helpful in the writing process. However, if you are just getting into screenwriting and figuring out the formatting, I think that you would really like the Amazon Screenwriter. It doesn't have a lot of extra features and so it makes it very simple, very easy to learn to just focus on learning the writing and the formatting and not how to operate a complicated program. Even though Caltex is free, it does come with some other features like some more script breakdown features and a more complicated system of keeping track of files. Caltex does have an online screenwriter, but I think you have to pay for it. And the online one allows you to collaborate with people on the script. Final Draft also has that collaboration feature, which I find absolutely necessary because often I am not writing by myself. I am writing with my sister Lizzie. So Final Draft allows you to have a chat box with someone and be working on the script at the same time so that we can be talking about what we're doing, making it so that we can see it's very intuitive very easy that's part of the biggest reason that I wanted final draft but if you don't need to mess with any of that with collaborations or with script breakdowns then I would totally recommend the Amazon screenwriter especially as a starting program for learning formatting because everything is right there out open where you can see and so it's very easy to start connecting the names of the formatting with the formatting and just figuring out how all of this weird formatting works. I think Amazon Screenwriter would be great for that. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that if this sounds interesting to you or useful to you, you will check out this resource. I recommend it as a learning tool. My name is Annie Pulling Sweat and I'm a homegrown filmmaker. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.